Hi, in this video today, I will show you how to use the cookie in ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay, so now, let's get started. I will open Visual Studio to show you the remote translation. And the current version I'm using is Visual Studio 2019. So now here, I will click on Create New Project on the right hand to create new project for our demo translation. Okay, so here, I will select the templates in ASP.NET Core web application. Okay, next. And then I will provide the name for my project. I will name it e handling handling cookie in ASP.NET Core MVC. And then I will select the location to save this project. Create. Yeah. I will select the templates a web application, model view controller, and then leave everything by default. Creating new solution for me. Okay, done. And then here you open the solution to show the solution explorer. This is our code. So now here before we start to writing any code, I will run this default solution to see what we have. Yeah, so here by default we have only home page with two action e index to view the detail of the, 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 the website and we have another one option, I mean action e privacy. Okay, so here I will use the home page, the home controller to writing the code for handling the, the um, cookie. Okay, you click, you click on the controller folder and then open the home controller file here. Okay, make this one a bigger for easy to see. Okay, so here I will add some the action here underneath of the privacy. Okay, copy this one, paste it here, and then I will name it a create cookie. The next one in this video will be the reading cookie read cookie and the last one will be remove cookie okay so here i will do some comment for this um this action will be used to create a new cookie in our web application okay copy this one Need to read, read the cookie value in okay. to remove the cookie key value by on the on the cookie key okay so here we will go through one by one action here okay the first one will be the great new cookie i will define the key and values first for this and string key equal string value equal okay and I will name it a GNVS cookie. Okay. And the value will be hello. Hello one from GNVS cookie. Something like this. Okay. And then I will be using the cookie cookie option. No, no, option. Cook CK CK CO okay equal the news cookie option. Mm, I will add some reference for this. I will have the Microsoft dot dot Okay, 
So here I will have the CO dot expiration expire dot should be equal that time dot now dot add day here. So add day I for example five day. That means after five day the the, the cookie, this cookie will be auto expire. Okay. <coughs> we can add the some information like second my minutes or in month or year okay so here i will use days at the okay i will do some formatting for this one okay simplify the code based on the suggestion of uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, so here I will have respond dot cookie dot append. Oh, sorry. I will provide the key key value. The last option will be cookie option with CO. Or we can, or we can name it the option option for clear i mean name for the mini food okay good so after that i will return the view in the in the action okay good okay the next one i will read the cookie copy this one I just need to have the string here declare a var values cookie value it should be will be equal to the rest request dot cookie the key okay return the view in the okay okay cool so here for this one for this one i think i will keep the value into this uh, into in this one so after that we will show demo so the burger here to see the content okay and the remove cookie i will copy the great new petty here okay so here in this one i will define the key first and the string value will be empty change string dot empty for the expiration i will add the minus one okay negative value i will have the okay keep it by default okay this remove cookie it looks similar to the great new cookie it is already different in the expiration time okay so here i will make this one smaller okay i will run this okay so here we have home privacy and we have another action a great cookie Read cookie and remove cookie. Okay, so here I will copy the name red cookie. Very here. Okay, so here I will view the inspect. Okay, I will open the network. I know source. And I will open and select the great cookie. Okay. So here application, and I have a cookie. Local hot four four three three zero. Okay, this one. Click on this one, and you see in the name we have a chain V eight cookie. Okay, and I have value here. Hello one from chain V eight cookie. Okay. Domain local host expiration date here. 
side good and next i will have the option e read the cookie change this one read cookie enter read cookie open this okay so here i will add breakpoint into this line of code and then we back to the website refresh this one yeah so using the debugger mode i will press the f10 on my keyboard okay so here you see the value of cookie open this yeah so for now we have the value e hello one from cnv8 cookie good f5 to continue running okay so here the last one will be remove cookie enter yeah so you see the cookie information here has been gone okay 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 close this and i will open the layout to add some action on the menu for easier handling it set the layout okay so here i will add three action okay and copy i will have the red cookie remove create new okay home uh, action oh sorry sorry action it should be no spy and here this is the controller okay the take controller action and this will be the take okay okay I will open back the, the website okay and then here I click on create create cookie open the inspect application the cookie oh, oh no no wrong wrong it should be the Create cookie, sorry. Read cookie, remove cookie. This is only the label. It can, can contain some spy here. Run it again. Okay. Create cookie. And view inspect. Application. Cookie. Yeah. You see the cookie genvs underscore cookie have been created with the key and value and some other information here okay i click on read cookie f10 and you can see the value here okay cookie file f5 to continue running and then click on remove cookie here cookie has been removed okay one more thing remove one more thing read okay F5 and remove okay so I think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to work with the uh, cookie in ASP.NET Core you can handle the great new reading and removing the content of the cookie okay so I will zip and upload this course into github so after that I will share the link in the uh, description of this video you can you, you guys can come there to download the short code okay i hope this video will have fun for you if you think this is okay so you you can like share and subscribe my, my youtube channel to get updated okay again thank you for watching and bye bye see you guys in the next video